welcome to our nursery at uh, Calamino. I want to show you the nursery that we have built here uh, for young seedlings. The nursery itself is four meters in long, one and a half in depth. Uh, its purpose is to provide optimal growth for the seedlings as they grow. I want to show the whole con uh, concept here, uh, peel by peel. The first thing we have here is our nylon cover. This is meant uh, to cover the nursery at night. So when it gets cold outside, this makes sure that it stays warm inside. First cover. Our second cover here is our netting. This net is meant to provide shade during the hot sunny day uh, when it can easily get to above 30 degrees inside the nursery. This makes sure that the temperature stays a lot lower, around 20 degrees. Once again, in mind we have optimal growth for the little seedlings. And then our final layer is a net that we brought from Israel. It's an anti-insect uh, uh, net. It makes sure that the plants are kept uh, safe from any types of uh, uh, insects or disease and this is the net and inside we see our plants uh, each room of the like this we have two rooms in the nursery uh, together they hold between three to four thousand little plants all in these trays plastic trays that we brought from Israel uh, as you can see they all have a hole in the bottom they are 50 uh, milliliters in volume and what they do is they provide each one of these was soil for the plant to develop its roots and afterwards they are easily taken out uh, and planted in the field. We will show how to make one of these uh, and show specifically how to mix the right proper medium uh, that is optimal for plant growth. So what we do is we mix uh, one third sand with one third compost and one third uh, clay soil that is natural uh, to this part of Ethiopia and what we want to do is thoroughly mix the three different uh, textures uh, so the whole plant medium is nice and homogeneous throw out any rocks that could interfere in the uh, trays and mix it the reason for the different types of medium is that they provide enough air, enough uh, water moisture is kept inside so that the plant itself uh, doesn't choke or isn't, doesn't have too much water or not enough air. Here we fill up each one of the holes of the tray trying to make it as equal as possible between each one. Uh, each one of these holes will be full to the top after which we will plant one seed into each single tray. Uh, we have here seeds of uh, Shanti tomato. These seeds will go 0.5 centimeters into each one of the holes in the tray. This will make sure that they have enough room to grow, get enough moisture, get enough sunlight and then the way to irrigate these properly is to have low pressure flow on them we use one of these pumps uh, which gives enough water to all of the seedlings without giving too much water at a time after several weeks this tray will look like this this tray has already been uh, half of it has been plant planted in the field and you can see they are easily taken out and a beautiful root structure that is developed. This allows for these plants to be put back into the soil, into the plot with minimal damage. What we will show you now is a demonstration of transplanting lettuce seedlings. These seedlings just came out from the nursery. As you can see, they are whole with the root zone and they are still with the growing medium. An uh, important thing is to irrigate the soil before transplanting because we want to make the, the plant as comfortable as it possible at its first days. What we do is we dig a small hole about 5 centimeters deep in the two sides of the, of the drip irrigation line. Afterwards, we put it 
as straight as possible. Try not to harm the roots and cover it gently. After the transplanting, we want to give another irrigation, again, to ease the, the transplanting. Thank you.